Hello and welcome to PCI TV. Today's demonstration is on using Gmatica to perform interactive multi-user mosaic editing. What we'll be demonstrating is the capability for multiple people to contribute towards a single project while working in a collaborative manner. More and more what we're seeing are sizes of projects are getting quite large, especially when you're working with air photo imagery where you have many small images that make up the overall mosaic. To produce a high quality product, a lot of fine tuning is often required. Things like cleaning up seam lines, adjusting color balancing, and work making other small adjustments. The mosaic tool actually gives a team the ability to work on a project together and perform edits to different parts of the mosaic simultaneously. And it keeps track of who's working on its various parts. So today what we'll be showing are multiple people working on the exact same mosaic. Let's take a look. So as you can see what we have here is on my machine I've loaded up the mosaic that is composed of 3300 images over Graz Austria. This is an UltraCam project and it's a very high resolution data set. The tiles are all loaded in this mosaic preview window and on the left what I have is I actually have the exact same project loaded up on a different machine in our office that is loading up the exact same mosaic. So what I can do is I can essentially if I'm user number one if you will on this other machine I can select some images and when I'm user number two if I go and try to select those same images what it's showing me is that those images are locked and I just I can't select them. Now I can select a larger window around it if I wanted to work along the edges of those images and work on those if I wanted to. So the system actually keeps track of which parts are locked by different users. So we'll show another example of that. I've got Moro on the line who is actually going to select a different part of the mosaic and we'll see that uh, interactively right now. Hey Moro, I'm going to get you to select some images. If you could go ahead and select some images right now. Okay. Okay, and I'll try to select some images where you're, where you're, where you're working. Okay. okay. They're selected now. Okay, so as you can see, the uh, part where Morrow's working is, is in the dark blue, and um, I can only select images that are not uh, selected by Morrow right now. So if I try to select those same images, it's just not letting me. Um, and if I, I can do a selection that encompasses Moro's plus others, then it'll just give me the tiles that are available. All right, thanks, Moro. No problem. So let's just run through a little scenario here. Uh, we've got two people editing the same mosaic. Uh, so user number one is going to be working on the eastern portion of the mosaic. So I'll go ahead and uh, open up some of those images. So I'll open those up. And over here on the right, I'm actually going to be working on some urban areas. So I'm going to open those up. And you can see that the other user's selection is highlighted for me on, the, uh, on, on my interface. So I can open up, uh, I'll just open up a few images here where we have some water features. I know I will have some issues with uh, color balancing over the water. So user number one over here is uh, got their imagery selected. So we can uh, enhance those together so that they all have a common uh, lookup table. And we could just simply inspect them. So I'll zoom in here over this particular location. And I can turn my cut lines off to see if there's any discontinuities in the data. Again, I can adjust my lookup table as I'm working. Looks pretty good. So this is a, a natural area which tends to be a little bit less problematic for, uh, for blending along seam lines. So again, if I turn this off, you can see that the quality of the mosaic is, uh, is quite good. So then I can go back to my collection viewer, or the overview of the, uh, the mosaic rather. Uh, I didn't make any changes, so I'll just click No. And I still have that selection highlighted, so I can just mark those as, as done. So now those, those are green and if I go to my interface here where I have the, um, if I go back to the overview, you can see that the part that has been completed by the other user is, is highlighted as green. Now if I had some basic edits to do here, 
I can zoom in to this particular location. Here I have some water features that are uh, where I have some discontinuities along the edge of the water. So the first thing I'll do is I'll select um, I'll select this image, see if I can actually uh, shape shape that image to uh, remove this part of the water. There's a discontinuity in the color here. So I'll choose my reshape tool. And uh, let me see if I can go into the ground here. So that looks a bit better. So I've got a nice uh, straight edge here. Uh, and the next thing I can do is I can actually select uh, another image where I want to actually blend these two together. So I'll select this image here and um, let me just zoom in a little bit more. I can add a couple of points here. These are these are what are what we call uh, blocking points if you will. Um, so what I want is I want to uh, leave everything un unchanged on the outside of the river and then I'll add a few um, edge points along this line as well. And then I can select those points and I'll turn the cut line off and I can use my adjustment tools here to uh, slightly adjust the, the blending between those two images. So you can see that what that's doing is it's blending the two sides uh, together quite nicely. So I can make little adjustments. If I want to change the color a little bit, uh, maybe I need a little bit more blue here so I can play, uh, play with that as well or reduce the blue to blend in, make it look a little bit more natural. And there you have it. So once I'm done with that, um, I can uh, go back to my uh, mosaic uh, preview overview window, save my changes. So this is again just saving the uh, changes to the uh, preview, not the full mosaic at this point. And uh, I can mark those changes on my uh, overview window. So those images that I've been working on are still selected and I can mark those as verified. So you can see that over here now the other portion of the uh, mosaic that's just been worked on on the other user's computer is highlighted as verified as well. So you can get a sense uh, of the power of this workflow where you can have multiple people working on the same mosaic at the same time without duplicating effort and uh, sort of breaking out the job uh, into smaller pieces. So when we do have all of the uh, quality assurance done on this mosaic, we can then execute the full mosaic processing in Geomatica or GXL, whatever technology is being used.